As we see our first team representing Germany, Daria Grimm and Mikhail Savitsky winning in Linz. In week number two, 91.68. Personal best, season's best. Skating to introduction, Rondo Cabricioso and Habanera. Daria Grimm and Mikhail Savitsky with a free dance that I think might be the most difficult free dance of both juniors and seniors. The complexities and intricacies, both in the features that they chose for the technical elements and in the transitional content, it is amazingly difficult Germany. what they have put down with this free dance. And great to see them skate it cleanly now here in the Junior Grand Prix final. Yeah, this one, they made. I don't want to say they made it look easy because it is not easy. It's very, very difficult. But it was right to the music. It was right in unison. They tracked each other beautifully. That was the best performance of the year for this team, in my opinion. I completely agree. And I think that they had been hampered by illness and injury in their Junior Grand Prix events. And they acknowledged that they've had a cleaner run of health 
in preparation for this. And so, you know, great to see him give a clean skate. But I think the, the challenges that that choreography poses in terms of the physicality of it, you know, it would be hard to skate cleanly early in the season. It's really interesting though, Ted, because as I think that's probably one of the most difficult compositions that we'll see, both juniors and seniors, is just the skating skills not quite as solid, the length of the strokes not quite as deep or flowing as the Americans yet to come. Be interested to see how the judges compare the different components as we see these incredibly difficult transitional entries into the twizzle. Yeah, it's exactly what I thought about the pico de mark of the program. I thought this is really, really good, but perhaps the speed and the depth of the edge is not, not perhaps, it isn't there yet, but it's coming. And they must have spent, as we see, I mean, this is just, so complex, difficult, Mikhail managing to keep ice coverage. So, so difficult. Little things like now the strokes that they take, the length of their stroke, the depth of their knee and ankle bend before taking those strokes, that's just not as comparable as what is yet to come. So if they can take this difficulty of, of composition and just keep honing and refining those skating skills, which are already brilliant, we're utterly nitpicking. We'll you you are cool. you are utterly nitpicking, but no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. No, no, it's so true. But what a great performance and what a great composition and wonderful choreography. As you mentioned, it's very difficult, but beautifully delivered here. And their season's best, 91.68. We'll see if they can top that. It would be so nice for this team to finish their first half of the season as they move forward with their best score of the, se of the year. And Daria and Mikhail have said that their long-term goal is the 2030 Olympics. So great to know that they're committed to one another and each other for the long haul. Yeah. Season's best, 92.92. That is first in the free dance. Great score and great performance as well with a total competition score of 159.41. As Daria and Mikhail take over first place, two teams to come.